So can we start sinning again now that Yom Kippur is over? Yom Kippur is the Jewish Day of Atonement and it happens every single year, once a year. It's actually the holiest day on the Jewish calendar. We repent for our sins and we plead to God that we're written into the book of life and that we have a good year, a successful year, a healthy year. And we pray for those around us to have the same. But does that mean that once Yom Kippur is over, it's a free for all and we can just sin again all year long? Because, you know, next year we'll be able to atone again. I want to be very clear that that is not a Jewish mindset and that's not what Yom Kippur is all about. In Judaism, we believe that man is born in the image of God. We don't believe that we're born into sin. And that every day we're striving to just be a little bit better and a little bit closer to that image that we were born in. Knowing that we will never be perfect, that we're not expected to be perfect. We're going to make a lot of mistakes. We're going to atone for them. We're going to apologize. And that doesn't just happen on Yom Kippur. This is actually something that we do all year long. When we make mistakes, we realize the mistake. We apologize where we need to apologize. We feel guilty about it. And then we vow to do better moving forward. We don't just say we're going to do better. We actually try to do better. That's the goal anyways. Every year after Yom Kippur, we have a fresh new start, but that doesn't mean we should just go sin again all year and then we'll have a fresh new start again. From now until Yom Kippur next year, the goal is to just try and do a little bit better and know that we're all going to make mistakes. But don't go out there and do it on purpose, knowing you'll just atone again next year.